my head looks like a tiny village on top of a mountain of belly. I'm a summit! Good morning. Uh, Layla has started this new thing that she does every day, every morning when I leave the house. She says, goodbye daddy, I love you. I hope you don't get fired today. I feel like she means it. Like she really doesn't want me to get fired. If they were gonna fire me, she would be the first person that they would tell. And then she's so vindictive that she like rubs it in my face the morning of. Hope you don't get fired today. Today is a big day because uh, we roll out the DSP advisory committee. I'm really excited about it because you get to get all these people together in a room to first identify problems and then come up with solutions for those problems. And I think that's amazing. All these people were voted for by their coworkers from each house that they work at. It's just a really cool thing to be able to get people together to isolate issues and then try and solve them. I'm really happy that it's starting. And I'm happy that I get to be a part of it. By golly, I'm jazzed. I recently got some really amazing news about um, a friend and coworker of mine. Uh, he works in the maintenance department and he's been battling cancer for a while now. He just got a really good report recently that he is in remission, which is amazing. Yay! Uh, I'm so happy for you, Mark. I'm glad that you're in remission. Tonight, uh, a bunch of us are gonna go to Dwayne's House of Pizza and celebrate. It's his favorite uh, place to eat, so we're gonna go celebrate that he's in remission and celebrate his life. And uh, It's good to just have really good news like that. It makes, it makes me so happy, so. I love you, Mark. I'm so glad that you're all right. So I thought maybe this episode we could get a little deeper. Um, having just received that positive news about my friend's cancer, I thought it would be interesting to talk about the concept of mortality, and your own mortality. Let me open with this. Last night I was watching uh, Mike Berbigula's special from 2013 and he was talking about a girlfriend he had in high school. He was in the newspaper, uh, he wrote for the newspaper, the high school newspaper, and she was quote unquote a cool kid. And he asked her one day, do you want to write an article for the newspaper? And she, her response was, I want to do something that they write an article about. But I thought that was a really interesting like concept, especially tied to mortality. I, I get one ride on this big blue marble and I don't think that I want to waste that ride. The idea of dying doesn't bother me because everybody dies and I think it's, it's beautiful and that's how life works. That's the design of life and of nature is that you are born of this earth, you take from it, you die and then you give back to it. That's beautiful. There's poetry to that. So I'm fine with dying. What I'm not okay with is not leaving behind some sort of a legacy. I have to be the person out there, I have to have my face out there, I have to leave an impact. I can't reconcile with myself a life that didn't leave some sort of positive impact. I can't. That's a life wasted and I will not waste this life. Life is definitely precious. Anything that some sort of positive, just if you're watching it just because you think I'm cute and I got a cute face and I make you swoon, that's a positive. And Let's just go with that one. My hope for you when you watch this is that you're slowly falling in love with me. That's my hope. All right, enough of that deep, deep stuff. Let's go look at my motorcycle. All right, y'all. 
I'm about to go inside and edit a video, but before I do that, I wanted to show you the brand new motorcycle. So this is my baby blue royal blue Yamaha Venture Royale. She's got a trunk that when it rains, fills with water. Saddlebags. You got a CB radio right here so that the person sitting here can talk to the person sitting here. There's my CB right here. Looks like we got 41,000 miles on it. So she's a sweet, sweet ride. Um, I got this puppy from my daddy. This one, he just like straight up gave it to me because he loves me. And then he has another Yamaha Venture that's like four years older that isn't running. That he, uh, I'm gonna go pick up this week and that's gonna be the park bike. So I can pull stuff off of that if I need it. But yeah, pretty stoked on that. Once I get the title next week, We'll have to do a couple of shots of us uh, driving around on it, which will be pretty sweet. Now, my family didn't know I was coming home to do some editing because I didn't know I was coming home. So let's go take a look and see what they're doing. Hey, Goober. Hey. How are you? Good. Good. You guys still scraping? Yeah, I just am trying to manage this ladder here. Yeah? I'm trying to manhandle it. Yeah, she's heavy. You want some help? Yeah, I do. All right, Layla, do you want to film us? Yeah, sure. Be a little, little camera girl someday. Daddy, right. it's losing battery. It sure is. Just pick up and stretch. Yeah. Later. Yeah. We'll just paint these now. Hi, Jimmy, Layla. Paint the other ones. Yeah. It's a hard window to open. All right. Go ahead and jump on that first rung. It kind of bounce a little bit, so it goes a little into the... Layla, keep the camera on us. There you go. All right, you should be good to go. All right, I'm gonna give it a test here. Oh, it's bouncy. Mm -hmm. It's bouncy. Ah. These are all locked in, you're good to go. What don't you like about it? It's just bouncy. Yeah. Every time that I take a step, it's like boing, 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 boing. Yeah. Where? You do a good job. Thank you. Hi, Daddy. Inside? Yes, I have to edit it inside. This is what it looks like when I'm editing. Let me tell you something. I pick things up and put them down. I pick things up and put them down. <laughs> this is Michelle Kennedy Bruner. Mm. Tell them to stop it. I mean it. We work together. I want to talk about this. She's a beautiful angel. And uh, I like to take care of her. She's my sweet angel. Okay, bye now. She says goodbye. <laughs> There you, go. you didn't shut it off. I agree. <laughs> oh, what are we? What's your blog this time? Mortality. Oh, like when I almost fell off the cliff. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> so you know we're celebrating uh, Mark's cancer being in remission tonight. Are you going to that? I didn't know anything about it. Oh, there's a probably because you were gone. There's a well, flyer up in our mail room. I have CPR tonight. Oh, so. today is Wednesday. Well, we're going at 5.30 to Dwayne's House of Pizza, mm. and we're going to celebrate his life and how amazing it is that he's in remission. That's and awesome. He's going to be happy. I think I'm going to stand up and do a speech. What are you going to talk about? I, think, I don't know. I might wing it. But I think my plan is to stand up and start with, I've been working here for 2006, which I've been working here since 2006, which means for 10 years I've been a pain in Mark's ass. <laughs> Something to that effect. All right, Michelle. What? We just tried to hire some people and did some interviews. Oh, 
Well, either way. No. So we're hoping we have four tomorrow? Yeah. Four out of four would be nice. Four out of four would be nice. And I'm going to keep working on it next week. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel beautiful. Yeah. You should. All right. Bye-bye.